Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to today's video. Today is going to be something a little bit different. Um, if you couldn't already tell, I'm going to attempt to do not what is my first monthly spread, but essentially what is my first monthly spread in a very long time and in a way that I've not done it before. So in previous years, I have attempted many times to do monthly spreads and I never carry them through. I do like one or two, maybe three, and I just stop because I used to pre-plan in my monthly spread. And I've seen a lot of people now, they do like a January highlight, February highlight, like they do monthly highlights. And I thought that that was a really fun way to have like a glance of your month right there. You can see what your highlights for the day were. And yeah, I thought that it was just a really fun idea. So with that said, that is what I'm going to be attempting to do today. I don't know how else to do it. So this is going to be like a chatty plan with me in real time type situation because I really didn't know how to like prepare for this video. So we're going to kind of do everything together. When it comes time to actually like editing the video, there may be parts where I maybe like speed it up and put some music over the top or something like that. Um, but we'll see how we go. Um, I feel like I'm saying um a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the kit that I'm going to be using for this monthly spread is, of course, from Planner Face. And for anyone who is not aware, uh, I do actually PR for Planner Face. So you can actually use the code MELISSA10 at checkout for 10% off your order. And you can pop my note, my notes. I always say that one day I'll get it right. You can pop my name in notes to seller and get my cute little freebie, which is a pink and purple like a self-love type situation. It's really, really cute. So if you're interested in that, definitely pop my name in the notes to seller. And like I said, take advantage of that 10% off should you wish. Um, but this monthly kit is the Guy Fawkes Night Monthly. Uh, and I think I said in my haul video when I showed you guys this video, this kit, oh my God, I can't. Every time I sit down to do like a talk through of some variety, like I can't talk. When I hauled this, I sort of said that the reason that I purchased this was because I wanted like a January monthly that reflected like the new year. And I figured that the fireworks was probably the most appropriate way to go with that. So I have opted for this kit. It does mean that I'm gonna have to do a little bit of playing around with the stickers because some of the stickers don't quite fit like the theme of new years, like they're specifically designed, excuse you neighbor. Uh, they're specifically designed for like the Guy Fawkes night in the UK, so we'll see how we go. But this is the front page here. And then we have some like functional items, we've got our date dots, we have some little headers, washi strips. We have some more functional items, some deco pieces or some like functional icon pieces some like full boxes that we can use to block out those days where we may not necessarily have anything on or to block out like um, the parts of the month that we don't use, like for February, for example, where there's 28 days, you can then use the full boxes to block out the dates that you don't need. And then this is our like decorative page. So again, we've got some more decorative boxes. We have the tall sidebar, we have some washi strips, and then we are back to the start. And as you can see, this kit actually has like a Sunday to Saturday situation, but I generally like the Monday to Sunday because that's how I operate. And unfortunately there was no like add-on strip for this one. So I might need to do a little bit of sticker surgery or I might just stick this over the top. So I ended up buying the Booville monthly Monday start strip just because it was the one that kind of went the best with this kit based on what was available at the time of purchase. Um, and then there was also, let me just pretty this up a little bit because I'm going to take a little picky in just a sec. Um, but then we also had these add-on Fashion Girl boxes as well. Don't know if I'm going to use them yet because again, they're very like event specific, but we shall see what happens. With that said, you guys, if you haven't already, feel free to grab yourself a snack, get comfy, and let's try and make our way through this. All right, so I've switched my little stands to make things look a little bit closer. And we're just gonna get started. This is gonna very much be some trial and error because I quite literally do not know what I'm doing. 
like I said, it's the first time I've ever done this. And when I used to do them, they were in my uh, Erin Condren. And I'm not sure. I just kind of want to test. Like if I put this there to there. Okay, so it should cover it. I thought that I might have to white this out. And I probably will have to with some spreads. But because this is a darker theme, I think I might get away with it. So here we go, you guys. Here we go. So if we just kind of line up the corners and why do I feel like when I say that I'm going to do like a talk through or like a chatty video, why do I, why do I feel like my de definition of like talking through and being chatty is going to be me literally telling you <laughs> what I'm doing as opposed to like just chatting to you? Um, is it too far over? I think I might try and lift because that's the other thing like where is the sidebar like how is the sidebar going to fit I don't want to do things too far over because I want to make sure everything fits and also by the way you guys if you didn't already know planner face offers both a premium mat and a removable mat and that is why it is looking like my life is incredibly easy putting down these stickers because I am using the removable matte variety. And honestly, it is so lovely to work with. It is one of my favorite removable matte papers ever. And I, I feel like I'm not like a planner veteran by any means. I just realized that I've put that on backwards. Is that going to matter if I'm going to put, it shouldn't, because I'm going to put the Monday through Sunday script anyway. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. It's fine. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm not really like a planner veteran at all. Like I wouldn't call myself a veteran. Like there are obviously people who have been in this community for far longer a time than me, but... But, 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 I've been around long enough to see many a removable paper, many a matte paper, and this is by far my favorite. It is so easy to work with. And why do I feel like I literally just spent, why do I keep saying literally? Literally is like my, I don't know, my word of the month or something. That's going to annoy the crap out of me. Um... But yeah, I feel like I just spent a whole 45 minutes talking about removable matte paper. So yeah, that was actually supposed to go the other way. But I figured that it works because I'm going to put the different dates, over the, or like the Monday through Sunday start. And I kind of figured that like, I don't know, New Year's is like this side. And then I can put like the monthly like header over here. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Maybe it, hmm. Do we like this or should I change it? In my mind, I kind of just feel like New Year's is like this side, but then like it's not really, it's over here. Well, we're just gonna roll with it. If I have to pick it up later, I have to pick it up later. But yeah, how is everyone? I hope everyone is doing wonderfully well. Like I said, it has been the longest time since I've done like a talk through video. It has been the longest time since I've done a monthly video. I keep telling you guys that I'm going to do like a chatty plan with me video and then like the day never comes. And it's not because I don't want to do it. It's just because like shit happens. Like I feel like 2022 was an absolute ridiculous cluster fire truck of a year and then I rolled into 2023 and I was feeling so like confident so refreshed so happy I was like yes another new year like a clean slate and then I don't know what the hell happened but 2023 started I started back at work in the middle of January and I had this like really cruisy January. Like for me, the role that I'm doing at the moment, there wasn't really much to do in January. So it was quite 
I was going to say literally again, but I kind of stopped myself there. You can see Wednesday there. Is that going to bother me? Maybe. I might wipe that out. Um, so, yeah, there was a period of time where I was doing not really anything. And I was, you know, enjoying myself and just having some really chill downtime and not doing much of anything at all. And then February rolled around and I didn't know what to do with myself because we went straight back into work mode, but like work mode on steroids and it hasn't stopped. Like the amount of work that I have had to do in the last, just even the last week, like this week that's just passed for me, there's no words. It, it has honestly been absolutely insane. Um, and then it kind of just like flowed on. So then February rolled around full on. But every single week, every single day in February has been absolutely insane. But anyway, um, yeah, so in saying all of that, I like every time I make the plan to or I like want to sit down and do a chatty plan with me, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll do it this week. Like I want to do it in real time so that when I'm planning that particular week out, like it's the week that's just gone by like for example today is saturday so if i was doing my chatty plan with me i would want it to be the week that had just passed and then i'm like okay it's going to be this weekend and then like something would come up or i would be too tired or we'd not be home or like i don't know i just feel like it's been a very busy couple of months so then in my mind, I kind of knew that when I got around to doing these like monthly like highlight videos that I kind of wanted to make these like my chatty video. And then I kind of decided that rather than trying to do chatty plan with me videos, that this might be my best option. And it would mean that like once a month, essentially, I was catching up with you guys in real time and we were chatting through like, you know, what has been happening and what's been going on in our lives. But obviously... <laughs> We're actually right about to be at the end of February and here I am doing a January chat through. So even though I am doing a chat through in real time, whilst I'm actually doing this video, it's not a chat through in the sense that like January is the month that's just passed, if that makes sense. And I don't know. So like I'm chatting to you in real time, but by the time you actually see the video it's going to be another like four weeks away. So it's like in real time, but not in real time. So I don't know how I'm going to combat that. I do want to combat that. This is annoying the crap out of me. Um, so yeah, if anyone has any recommendations or suggestions, by all means, pop them down below. With that said, I feel like I say it every year, but I do very realistically have intentions of wanting to catch up like I want to be in a position that when I'm planning out a week um you know that again it is the week that's just gone by it's not you know a, a week three months after the fact so I don't know we'll have to see what happens that is my intention whether my intention comes true don't know but we can try um, but yeah, so January, not too much happened for me. Um, I guess you, you guys will obviously see the highlights as we go through them and like pop them down into the planner. But January was just a pretty, like at the beginning of the month, it was pretty cruisy. Like I said, kind of the, the new year rolled in. I had a couple of weeks off work, so I didn't go back to work. I think I went back on like the... 11th maybe I think it was the 11th um and then like I was saying like my return to work was very chill very like not much of anything happening like there was some days where like I was doing work and like doing some like admin type stuff and I was watching Sims videos or like watching YouTube videos in the background whilst I was doing that because I didn't have to focus on anything else. I didn't have any other like 
deadlines or targets to achieve or anything like that. So it was, yeah, it was um really, really chill month. Towards the end of the month, though, that's when things got a little bit hectic and sort of overlapped into February um, because... <laughs> It was bad to happen, I guess. I say I constantly say this, like I was kind of just waiting for it to happen. But like, um, I guess the significant events of January was like my dad's birthday. So my dad's birthday was on the sixteenth, um, and then then the next significant thing wasn't necessarily a positive significant. It was actually a negative significant. But my faithful little car decided that she wanted to clonk out again this was the second time in less than six months my laptop decided to clonk out again within like a matter of days of each other like I think my laptop went first and then my car went and so I had to go and get my laptop fixed I got my laptop fixed but I walked in expecting like because when my laptop broke the last time, it was the screen. And it was very much my fault. I had dropped my laptop a couple of times and the little case that I had on it had protected it. And then this final time, back in September, the, the screen just completely broke, destroyed, like no longer usable, done. And when I took it to Apple, because it is deemed like my fault, which it obviously was. I, I mean, look, I didn't admit to it voluntarily because like Apple is a joke and the prices that they charge are an absolute joke. So I didn't openly admit it, but they found a little crack on the screen and they were like, ah, okay, so this one wouldn't be covered under warranty because it is your fault, essentially. So I had to pay the repair for that. And I think that was like $720, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like that's half of what I paid Sorry if that was really loud. Um, that is like half of what I paid for the laptop. Like I purchased the laptop in 2021. I think it was a 2020 model that I purchased in 2021 in like April. Um, and yeah, so they were like, we can't cover this under warranty. This is gonna like come out of your pocket. And when I purchased it, I think I paid maybe $1,700. I don't really need the Apple Mac. Like I could honestly just get like a regular laptop. It would probably be a lot easier for most things and a lot cheaper. <laughs> and then if something ever happened to it and they were gonna try and charge me phenomenal, phenomenal amounts to fix it, I would probably just be like, look, it's fine. I'll just buy a whole new laptop because realistically it would be cheaper to do that. But I do all of my editing on iMovie, which again, like I know I can like get a different laptop and get a different like software and I can teach myself, myself, I can teach myself another like editing software, which would obviously take some time and a bit of getting used to. And I could totally do that, but I'm so used to iMovie and I'm so used to like, being able to kind of just like plug and play my phone. Not that I do, like literally my laptop, the the scale of what I use my laptop for is watching YouTube and editing videos. Like that is, that is it. I don't do anything fancy on it. I do like all of my YouTube stuff and I in turn watch YouTube and like Twitch. And that's, that's it. So, yeah, I probably don't need the fancy laptop. Anyway, um, so like I said, paid $1,700 for it in 2021, 2022. Uh, no, so yeah, 20, 2022, it breaks the first time. They tell me it's going to cost me, I think it was like $730 once it was all rounded out. Am I, I feel like I'm doing this the wrong way. Um... And so when I walked in this time around, I was expecting for them to say like the same thing. You know, they'd be like, oh, it's not covered under warranty. It's going to cost you $730. At which point I then really have to start questioning my life because like, am I really about to have spent 
what's like $1,400 in the space of six months to repair my laptop twice. Like you really start thinking about it. Thankfully though, so what had happened the second time around is that I was quite, I was going to say literally, I was sitting and watching like streams and YouTube on, I think it was like the Monday night. And then the Tuesday night I finished work, came down, opened my laptop to do the same and my laptop, like there was a black screen and I sort of didn't really think anything of it because my laptop's not always plugged in. Um, and I was like, okay, like what's, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know how to do this. Um, yeah, my laptop isn't always plugged in. So I kind of thought, okay, well, my battery's gone dead. That's fine. I'll just charge it. So then I plugged the battery in and I attempted to turn the laptop on. And nothing happened. And I tried that a couple of times. Nothing continued to happen. And then it got to a point that it did restart. And then I had all these like fuzzy lines down the center of my screen. And then I kept restarting it and like playing around with it. And I eventually got it to restart properly. But then when I opened the screen it would like flicker every five seconds. Anyway, I probably, in hindsight, I'm now looking at this and I probably should have left it Sunday to Monday. And I may need it to change, it. like, no, cause that's gonna, if I make that decision now, I essentially have to stop filming because it means that I have to redo this entire spread. So we're just gonna have to like carry it through up here. This is not, <laughs> not how I anticipated this going um but yeah anyway um so like I said it would like start and I could go to browsers and I could hear things and I could watch my streams but the screen would intermittently flicker and I'm talking like every five seconds and every time it flickered it would like stop you from doing anything like it would pause the screen if that makes sense so that was not a fun time. Um, so I honestly didn't know what happened. I didn't drop it. I, like I said, absolutely no idea what actually happened. Um, but still in my mind, I figured that like when I walked into Apple, naturally they were going to try and say that it was like customer fault kind of thing, because if it's customer fault, then they don't have to cover the cost of the repairs. So I was, I was anticipating it. Um, but thankfully, like they, like the second that they looked at it, they were kind of like, okay, well, this is definitely like a glitch in the system. Like this shouldn't be happening. This isn't your fault. So they went ahead and actually fixed it and it was free of charge. So that was lovely. Um, I don't know how I feel about these being so close. But then if I don't put them that close, then this doesn't line up on the side. So I think that's going to have to stay like that. Okay. Um, so that is that. And then I think we need to pop just up in that middle section there. We probably need to pop some decorative boxes. So I think that for the sake of what it is, we might maybe put this one here because this is when new year oh no because then we no let's not do that because if we do that no actually yes because i don't know if i'm gonna put that it was new year's in the spread Like I'll put New Year's Day, but um, yeah, so that, that happened. And then within the space of a week, I think maybe I picked up my laptop on, they had told me it was going to take like X amount of days, like they always do and they have to, but it ended up being that I think I took it in on a Saturday and they said like I wouldn't be able to pick it up for probably like four to five days, which would have equated to, I think it was like a Tuesday. And I was like, okay, like that's fine. Like it is what it is. There's nothing I can really do about that. 
and then I got a call to come in and actually pick it up the very next day. But I think the only reason that that happened was because the guy that served me when I took it back for repair was the guy who had fixed it the first time. So it was probably just very much a case of like, what have I done wrong? Like I need to fix the problem that I made. So I think I just got really lucky in that regard. Um, and then the th I th I'm pretty sure it was the same week. We'll see when we like get into the actual like highlights. I'm not going to highlight that obviously because it wasn't a highlight at all. Um, but within the week, it was like then my car... I was driving home from my waxing appointment and my nail appointment and my car clunked out again. <sighs> and it was not a fun time. That looks really terrible, but I kind of have to just deal with it. Um, so yeah, that was not a fun time. And that is exactly how it happened the first time. I think, I think the last time it was my car first and then my laptop like a couple of days later. But yeah, it was a... Very, very interesting. Um, now, I don't know how I'm going to do the rest of these. Like, I don't know whether I want to put just some, like, fireworks up there or whether I want to put, like, some of the deco boxes up there. So maybe we'll leave that and we'll just kind of go into, like, our highlights. And we'll leave the dates there because we don't know if we're going to use them or not. Okay, so let's have a look. So starting on the 1st of January, so let's go to our spread. So the 1st of January was New Year's Day. Did we? Oh, we did. Okay, so we went to our friend's house. So it was New Year's Day and we hung with the baby. So we can maybe fit both of those there. All right. Okay, so this is the part where I'm gonna to need to be creative because I don't really know how I'm going to mark anything. So on the first, I kind of wanna put a box down. I might do like this sparkly orange box because I'm going to try and fit two things in here. So I'm going to try and fit that we had some baby snuggles. I'm going to pop that there and then I'm going to pop over here. that of course as we all know oh, do i need to maybe i can pop her like in the corner like that and then put like new year's day here that might work okay so that's that and then we go over to the second. So on the second was beach day. But I think what I want to do with beach day is I maybe want to bring in I don't know if I have any like squared off boxes on hand. So maybe I can use a little splodge. But I don't think have the right colored splodges. I mean, I feel like a blue could work, but then at the same time, you know what? We're going to use the pink. There's pink fireworks. We're just going to. What's happening? Okay, so we might with this one, or we might pop this over here in the corner. And then we'll pop our little 
perfect time to use this emoji because she's absolutely huge and I don't know when else I would use her. So I think that that works really nicely. So we're going to pop our beach day there. And then we quite honestly didn't do much of anything. I think I had a look. And the next thing that I was going to mark is on the 5th. <laughs> so there wasn't much of anything happening there. So on the 5th. Do I, do I have any? Maybe I can use a page flag. I don't know how I'm... Mm. So... I don't know that I want to put it that way because, like, I already have. All right, how am I going to do this? This is going to be the only other problem with like doing this. I'm not super creative. Maybe I can pop that up here in the corner. And then I can just put like the reading down here, perhaps. I don't know. We're going to get better at this the more that we do, right? And then I think the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th, pretty much not much of anything, but that's fine because I'm going to come back and do the deco boxes at the end. Okay, so then we're into the next week, starting the 9th. Okay, it seems absolutely ridiculous, but I am going to mark it. So that was when I did my very first workout of the year which i feel like i need to mark because i'm not someone who works out so when i work out it's kind of like a big it's a big thing for me so um i think what kind of workout i think it was a stretch workout yeah so if we do I don't feel like these girls necessarily go, but they also don't necessarily not go, if that makes sense. Okay, so we did a workout that day, and then we also had a workout the following day. So I might, I might put... You know what? That day I had a bit of a self-care day. So on that day, I'm actually going to record that I had a, I'm about to drop my stickers, um, that's number one, <laughs> um, so I had a bit of a self-care moment, and I did a face mask, and unusually, I might use the, like, mud mask, because there are the, like, brown boxes, so I figured that I would finally use some of these, okay, so, what did I say? That was the 9th and the 10th. So, on the 9th, I think I might... Do I just want to pop her? Like, it's really hard because I don't know how I want to, like... Like, do I want to put her in a... No, I don't want to put her in a box. And then, like, I kind of also want to put her, like, over here... All right, let's just put it there. That's fine. Kind of overlaps the date dot. Then we can put the stretch work out here and then we can put like some decorative pieces in there. I don't know. I don't know how to do this thing. 
This is the first time we're giving it a shot. Oh, okay. And then on the next day is when we're going to put that we had a little self-care day. So I might actually use a box for this one. So we might... Pop that down here. And that way if I want to add something else back in there like later on or I decide. Because some of these days there's like things where I've done like multiple different things in the day. And then other days like I've done like nothing. So let's do that. We had a bit of a self-care moment. And then what else happened that week for me? Um... Back to work, gross. Okay, so I should, pro I could probably maybe put that. Although I might be able to put that on a decorative box. So we'll leave that for now. And then. Didn't really do. Like again, there wasn't really much of anything happening. Um, of course, we're going to have to pop in. Why is everything happening on the left-hand side of my spread? Okay, we're going to pop in Dad's birthday at the bottom here. Okay, so that's Dad's birthday. And we did actually go to dad's house. What did we do? I think we had KFC and we kind of just hung out and really just chilled. And But we had work the next day, so we didn't really... I might, I don't use my KFC stickers a lot, so I feel like I should probably use those. Also, I feel like this video, even though I'm talking through it, I'm probably not talking out loud a lot. So if I, <laughs> if this chatty plan with me is not as chatty as you expected, I do apologize. I'm kind of, I feel like whenever I try new things, it takes me a while to get my head around them and like it just, yeah. And I think that's where I'm at at the moment because I don't really know how I want these spreads to look. I know what I want to have in them, but they're not necessarily looking the way that I would like or they're not as pretty as I thought it would be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm very, I'm strange. Little bit of a perfectionist, which doesn't help because you want everything to be perfect. And obviously when you feel as though... Oh my god, now I can't get my stickers back in my album. Obviously, when you feel as though perfection is not being achieved, then you're not satisfied, are you? So I'll fix those later. It's driving me nuts. Okay, so like I said, Dad's birthday um, is there. And then we had KFC and we kind of just hung out and didn't really do much. Um, okay, so what else happened on that week? Probably nothing. Okay. I don't even have anything recorded, which is fantastic. So that's amazing. I do know that it was our little Shelby's birthday on the 22nd. I think I might use the orange for her because I don't really like the brown. So we'll pop Shelby's birthday down. Okay, so that's Shelby. And then we also had a party for her this day. So is there any cake or any like, not really. Really? 
but I'm sure that I have something here. I just had my birth, like my celebration stickers out before and of course I popped them away. Do I have You guys are about to hear a loud clunk very soon because my stickers are quite This is I guess this is in context this time. But my stickers are quite literally falling around everywhere. Um, okay, so I do have some balloon stickers. So maybe I can use some glittery balloons for her birthday. So we might use the pink because, again, they kind of go with the fireworks to an extent, except I keep breaking them as I try to take them off the page. Um, the intricacies okay so we have this pink which kind of matches that so we've got her birthday here and then I might pop these balloons there because we had her birthday party on that day as well okay so then the following week, so I know that on the Sunday we did catch up with my brother. We went to pick up, this was the week that my laptop died. And we went to pick it up and my brother was like at the shops as well. So we actually ended up hanging out with my brother for a little while which was nice so I'm just gonna pop that here don't know what I'm gonna put there we kind of had some food and we kind of just like chatted maybe I can just put a little like coffee cup we didn't have coffee or well I guess we, mm -hmm. I had coffee, not at that particular point. I did have coffee that day, but um, what am I going to use? I feel like I might use a brown one. And that's just going to be to mark catching up with my brother. Like I said, I also picked up my laptop on that day, which was great. So there is that. And then what else happened? What else happened on that week? I don't think anything really. Um... Did that on the Saturday. The Saturday. Okay, so the Saturday I finally convinced my husband to watch Rocky. Which may not seem like a big deal to anyone. But my husband in his whole entire life never, ever, ever, ever had seen not a single one of the like Rocky movies. And even though we watched from home, like we weren't doing, like we didn't go anywhere to see it, I um I managed to convince him I might pop it up the top actually. Yeah, I managed to I think when we went to because I think what happened is when we went to the shops, vaguely off memory, we went to the shops with my laptop to get that fixed. And then we went into like JB Hi-Fi, which is what we always do. Like whenever we're in like the Penrith area, we kind of pop into JB Hi-Fi. We see if there's any like new movies or new videos or videos. 
new movies or DVDs. And I think this day we kind of were like at a point where, like I, I have said in my previous plan with movie videos, that we'd been watching three different series. Um, and this particular night is when I finally convinced him to watch Rocky. I might actually put... Do I want to put... Also, for anyone who may be curious, this little sticker here is a custom that my beautiful friend Maya from Sticker Thief made for me a little while ago. I do find them difficult to use, though, only because they're like a set color scheme. And obviously, the way that I plan, I tend to try and use stickers that match like the color of the kit that I'm using for that week. Um, so I don't get to use them a lot. So we had that. Okay, so we watched Rocky on the Saturday. Um, it seems trivial, but I did play Dead by Daylight with my friends on the Friday, which can be quite rare these days because we used to play it like in a group. And that's, that group has kind of dispersed a little bit. So it can be tricky to play video games when, like, you don't have your whole group intact. And, like, one of my friends will only play in a group. So unless we have a group to play. Well, yeah. Um, so when we actually get to play it, it's, it's really nice. It's really stressful. For anyone who plays Dead by Daylight, you, you probably know what I mean. But like a lot of games, you can have those like really toxic moments. Um, so I think I'm going to pop that in there. And I think I'm just going to get a little controller. I know that I have controllers somewhere. Um, probably in all of my Nintendo, surely. So I might use that and then I might use another little page flag. Maybe I'll use the red page flag and I might do I want to use the orange controller just to bring that orange through maybe so I might pop that up in the corner and then just pop that like that not very interesting, but it is what it is. Do that there, and then I just put like played Dead by Daylight somewhere. Okay. And then what else did I do? I think that's pretty much it. Um, I think this is when. We were watching Walking Dead again, I think. So I might pop that down. So I might just get another like a binge watch sticker or like a couple watching TV sticker for that. Um... Maybe I use my Debbie. I know that I was watching with my husband, but I might pop Debbie in this bottom corner over here. And then I can pop pot. Is it Thursday? 
Yes, we put... I was going to say, why are we binge watching? But that was a day off. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure that finishes off... Oh, on the Monday, I was going to put... That I was playing some Sims. I've been playing a lot of Sims lately and I've really, really been enjoying it. Um, so where I can, I'm definitely going to be continuing to do that. Um, but I need to find an appropriate maybe, maybe I can use Debbie. I really need to start using some of these stickers. I have so many of like the same thing. Let's see, maybe I should use her or something different. Um, I might use the big one because again, I don't use a lot of like And then I can either just write it underneath or... Okay, I'm pretty sure that is like the extent of my plans. Well, not the extent of my plans, but like... The highlights. So I need to go in and sprinkle some of these decorative stickers. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, do these fit? put this one next to it except Oop. can you tell that like <laughs> I feel like this is probably why I don't do a lot of chatty plan with me is because I'm not really chatty, am I? So maybe if I shift this over a little bit and I bring it like that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> and then maybe I can... Let's just put some decorative. Okay, we might put something here on the 13th. I think this is like the difficult part. <laughs> it's like, where does everything go? So if we pop this like that, then we can pop our little 13 there. Perfect. And then we might use a little bonfire. Maybe over here. Just to decorate the 18th, just to put a little extra color over this side. And it also brings that orange from the other side to this side. I don't know how I feel about using like the the fact that I've got the fire like in the sidebar and then I've got it over here as well, but I guess that's kind of why I've put it on the other side. 
So that kind of works. Okay, that's done. And then I don't know that I'm going to use this one because like the mask, I mean, I guess you could get away with it because it's kind of like New Year's party. People like to dress up. Um, this would have been really nice to like run across the bottom, but then I don't really have anything to run across the bottom there either. Um, I need to put something there. Listen, it doesn't fit. This does not work for Aussie New Year because it has the beanie and the cold and stuff, but we're just going to ignore that fact. And we're going to acknowledge the fact that there is... sparklers and fireworks there which is essentially what new year's is all about i'm just going to cut this down a little bit and i hope that it doesn't look as shonky as the other one if it does we're kind of just going to have to deal with it yeah, it does it looks just as bad <laughs> but it's fine yeah, it's fine Okay, yeah, that looks pretty bad, actually. What if we, like, maybe we can get away with it like that? Although we probably kind of want this and this to line up. Just so that it's not so that kind of works. Okay. We can probably put might put the other two over this side so that we've got the whole row of fireworks okay although I'm pretty sure this is meant to be like a I feel like I need to lift everything up. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write in what I did on these particular days and I'll be back. Okay, you guys. <laughs> so this is what I have. She's um definitely doesn't look like I'd expected. She's definitely a little bit more lackluster than what I expected as well. Clearly not a lot happened in my January. I did just go and try to find my little like January header to pop on here to see if maybe that would like finish it a bit and make it look a little bit different maybe I can go in with some foil and add some like shimmer to it I don't know um but in terms of what I have left from the kit so didn't use a great deal of it at all to be honest because again the premise is is that I'm doing like a highlights video so I'm not really using a lot of the functional items. Like there is still a lot happening and I do really love like the fireworks across the top, but I just feel like it doesn't deliver the way that I thought it would deliver. But I guess, again, it's kind of my first one. So maybe by the time we get to like the Christmas highlights, it will be a little bit better, hopefully. I'm not sure. Um, we can hope. Yeah, I kind of, I do like how it turned out, but I would have liked it to be more special. Like, I don't know, maybe I need to get, maybe I need to use less boxes and like more of these kinds of things. Because I do like how like these, whoop, 
I do like how these look and it kind of takes up the whole day. So maybe I just have to invest in a lot more like paint splodges and like decorative boxes. Maybe squared off boxes would look really good as well rather than the boxes that take up the whole space. Maybe I just need to watch other people who do highlight videos. But if you have any tips or tricks, drop them in the comments below. If you have made it this far, I appreciate you. Um, this was kind of a chatty hot mess in real time plan with me that's not really in real time so I don't know we'll get there one day but it kind of makes me happy knowing that like when I open my planner I have my monthly and then I actually for once in my life flick into my spreads so we will see how we go hopefully we end up having a monthly for every month of the year of 2023 and hopefully by the end of 23 we'll see by the end of 2023, we'll see more highlights in my monthlies because this is a little bit sad. I want there to be more highlights. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you again for watching and I will see you all very, very soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.